You're listening to the Estate Plan Lady Show with Yvonne Dantzler, where we talk about planning for your future, whether it's estate planning, life insurance, retirement, or savings. We've got you. Hello, everyone. Yvonne Dantzler here, and we're here to answer the question of the day. Will my living trust be affected if I move to another state? Once again, we're here to answer the question of the day. Will my living trust be affected if I move to another state? The answer to that is little if any. One must remember that a trust is not just a contract or a piece of paper, but rather a technique of titling assets. It has no domain. Any asset recorded in the name of the trust is part of that trust whether the asset is located in New Mexico, Kentucky, California, or any other state. One must remember that each trust is controlled by the laws of that particular state determined in the trust contract. If the contract says that your trust is to be governed by the laws of the state of Ohio, it is governed by Ohio laws, even though you currently reside in Georgia. Upon moving to another state, you may want to investigate local trust laws to determine if the laws of your new place or your new state would be much more favorable than the laws of your old state. It's a rarity that they usually are more favorable. If you'd like to make a change to your trust if you move to another state, there are several ways of doing so. One way to make a change is through what's called an amendment. An amendment is basically to change or alter the original. So in a trust contract, whatever you originally wrote in your contract, an amendment would just come in, you'd have a person type up the paperwork and just basically put your new information so it would actually cancel the original thing that you wanted on your trust. So for instance, if you moved from Kentucky to Georgia, instead of it saying you're governed by the laws of Kentucky, your new amendment would say that your trust is now governed by the laws of Georgia. Just that simple. Another way of doing it is you could make a change. Uh, you could go to the paragraph in your original trust. You can actually mark a line through the word, the old state, and you can put the new state on there with an initial. And that can be considered made a change too as well. Uh, that, on the other end, I believe the amendment would probably be best because it doesn't look like the trust has been altered in any way and we're trying to keep that trust probate proof. So that's just one of the things that we had here today, the question of the day. And uh, we want to thank you for tuning in and thank you for listening. And we're going to have an upcoming more in-depth podcast on this subject. Thank you. You've been listening to the Estate Plan Lady podcast with your host, Yvonne Dantzler. If you like what you've just heard, please subscribe and share our channel today. We invite you to listen again. Visit us at www.estateplanlady.com or call us at 909-440-8617. We are located in Southern California.